What's up, everybody? I just got back from an amazing week of events at the Reno Pepper Mill Hotel and Casino. Thanks to our friends at Ultimate Poker, 25 Run It Up Warriors made the trip. Let's take a look at some of the festivities from the week. So we kick things off just how I always kick things off with a bunch of alcohol. Yes, of course, how else could we not? And it was awesome. I, everybody that I met was so cool, so funny. It was such a good group. Everybody got along really well. Cheers, everybody. The Moon Girl was there. Dan O'Brien made an appearance. Yeah, we just had an awesome time hang, hung out there. And then we made our way over to the tournament area for the Run It Up Open event later that night. I want to thank the Pepper Mill for having us. These guys have been awesome, as well as Ultimate Poker. We have an amazing trophy for you. No, not the Moon Girl, but still a pretty nice trophy. So uh, let's get those cards in the air. Let's shuffle up and deal. It was a $100 buy-in tournament. We had about 105 players in the event all in all. For me, it was an awesome moment to see a field of people and to see the Run It Up shirts spread across them. That was really awesome. I actually put a bit of a run together myself. I managed to duck and weave and run the hot my way down to the final table. Next thing I knew, I was heads up for my own damn trophy against a uh, member of Team Ultimate Poker, my friend Dustin. So it was kind of an interesting dynamic, but I wasn't able to overcome my chip deficit and Dustin took home the trophy at four in the morning. Here we go, run it up. That's right. Legion in the house. That's right. I certainly uh, was a little tired heading to the seminar though the next day, which was starting at noon. So what I have here is a hand history that was sent to me a month ago that I have not pre-reviewed. Come on in, Brian. Almost everybody that had come the night before was there for the seminar. I went through the final three tables of a poker tournament. I think that guy might have played that hand really well post flop. Uh, we won't know what this guy has unless he slams it on the table. I had nothing! Boom! No, not this time. And I got four hours of sleep last night too and I'm still screaming. Dan O'Brien came uh, and helped me out for the final table and, sh and shared his views. But when you do something like this in the vacuum, you're just opening yourself up to a lot of variance because you have no idea where you stand in the hand. So after the seminar was over, we all went out and had some dinner on sweet, sweet Jay Carver money. That's right, the sweetest kinds of money. Then we hit the cash game tables. We actually had three full tables playing some one, two. My table was the most fun because we were drinking and also gambling. We were doing 10-way PLO flips every 30 minutes. That's a good way to get the game moving. So we kicked off Friday with a kind of an innovative sort of live online thing. I had wanted to do something special for all of our VIP winners who won their way to Reno and to give them a chance to play in the main event. So we thought it would be cool to have these guys play on Ultimate Poker, a 15-person tournament, and whoever won would win a ticket to the live 1k buying main event at Peppermill. Then everybody brought their laptops, they all showed up to this fireside lounge, which was an amazing place. There was a, a bell that people were ringing when they were sucking out on people. Good game, sir. Eventually, Clint ended up winning this free roll tournament for $1,100. I feel fantastic. This is already the coolest trip I've ever been in my entire life, except maybe my honeymoon. <laughs> So later that night, we actually did another online event in the high stakes poker room at Pepper Mill. We just did an open tournament to anybody in Nevada, so we kind of converted half of the high stakes poker room into like a computer lab of sorts. Everybody just had their laptops all laid out. It was kind of a cool environment to be honest. We had two guys make the final table, and I think the closest we got to winning was like fourth. So close, but not quite enough. Still a really fun event either way. Three, two, one. Run it up! You know, I had very high hopes heading into the Pepper Mill event. You know, I had never done a live event quite like this before, but even with my high hopes, I still think we smashed my expectations. I had such an amazing time. Pepper Mill was absolutely a phenomenal partner and a great host to us. It was great to see so many guys at home that were cheering us on and helping us out, supporting us on Facebook and Twitter and social media. I really appreciate all you guys that helped us out with that. And I think we'll see some more Run It Up events uh, very soon. <laughs>